So what was I saying? Yeah, the Tea Party is officially dead. And I think it really started uh, when Trump and the Make America Great Again movement uh, hijacked it, for lack of better terms. And for those who don't know, the Tea Party was a re response to, I think, both uh, the election of Barack Obama and the failure of uh, the Republicans under George W. Bush. Because, uh, as we all know, uh, the debt, uh, the deficit grew, the debt grew under George W. Bush. Uh, there was more government intervention into the economy. They bailed out the banks. Uh, Obama technically bailed out uh, the automotive industry, although I think George Bush wanted to bail out the automotive industry as well, or he talked about it. Uh, Medicare and Medicaid expanded. The Department of Education expanded. And uh, the, the financial crisis happened under Bush's watch. So, uh, and then Obama got elected and he promised more government intervention. And so the Tea Party, which was named in honor of the Boston Tea Party, which was the spark of the American Revolution in response to tea taxes. Uh, the Tea Party grew out of uh, resentment toward more government and higher taxes. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so mad I missed that mushroom. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the Tea Party sentiment. Now, the Tea Party was never consistent. It was always a mixed bag of, uh, of so-called populism, and uh, there, was, there were religious elements. I missed it again. The, the snow is throwing me off. And, uh, but one of the, the driving factors was the call for uh, lower taxes... Uh, and a uh, return to uh, to limited government, American ideals of limited go uh, government, and uh, respect for the Constitution and the founding ideals of this country. The founding ideals of, uh, I guess, limited government, because they never really made it explicitly about individual rights, which is a big reason of probably why it failed, is because it never had a real consistent message. But nevertheless... Um, they got a lot of funding from the uh, the Koch brothers, the Super Koch brothers, um, and they made moves. The uh, they, they got candidates elected. They got uh, Justin Amash and and Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and Thomas Massey and uh, I guess Michelle Bachman. I don't know how long she. I don't know when she exactly got into Congress, but she uh, she became uh, noticed. She became known uh, as a Tea Party symbol. So yeah, d between 2010 and 2014, the Tea Party, they were making moves. They were, uh, you had uh, pundits. I'm not doing another one of these levels. Jesus Christ. Can they put it like, oh, you're going to be upside down. I really, uh, <laughs> I can't do another one of those. Um, so a lot of candidates uh, got elected. Under the Tea Party banner of uh, respect for the Constitution, lower taxes, limited government. All right, good, good stuff. Flying their little Gadsden flags. Yeah, the don't tread on me flag. Remember that flag that the Tea Party, uh, that conservatives embraced during the Tea Party? Everyone remember that flag? Well, keep that in mind. Oh my goodness, this is uh this is intense. Oh, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Boom shakalaka. Anyway, the Tea Party. So the Tea Party was making moves, and then I think it got uh hijacked by Donald Trump and the Make America Great Again movement. It's somewhat understandable because the Tea Party said, let's return to America's foundational principles of uh, limited government and low taxes and respect for the Constitution. But then Trump says, well, I want to make America great again. So, you know, they were both, uh, I think this happened by accident. I don't think this was uh, a genius move by Donald Trump. 
But then the Make America May, uh, Great Again movement said, hey, we're going to make America great again. How? Uh, well, by big government intervention into the economy through tariffs and other regulations. And what has happened since the uh, election of, uh, of Donald Trump? Well, again, he ran on uh, imposing tariffs, which is ironic because uh, wasn't the tea tax somewhat of a tariff on tea, uh, a, a tax on the uh, India Tea Company? Uh, do I get a clown car or what? So Trump says, I'm going to use uh, tariffs and taxes to uh, help make America great again. I'm going to protect the border and all this other stuff. And what has happened since? Well, since then, uh, a lot of conservatives, notably the uh, the Magatards, have uh, abandoned the Gadsden flag. I pointed this out in a tweet uh, a few weeks ago about how uh, it's interesting That the feminists are using the Gadsden flag as a symbol of hope uh, in response to these abortion laws. They they put like a uterus symbol in place of the stake and said, uh, don't tread on me. Um, and meanwhile, uh, magatards have been uh, mocking the Gadsden flag in response to uh, demands for social media regulation. They, uh, they have the... the drawing of the boots stomping on the snake and says at least it's not big government and it has like a bunch of corporate logos on the boot because again uh, uh economic power and political power totally the same thing according to the magatards so you got that so um yeah more taxes screw the gadsden flag And uh, now you have Justin Amash, probably the uh, most American representative in Congress, the one who probably re respects and admires the Constitution the most out of anyone, and uh, often uh, cites um, the founding fathers like George Washington and in, uh, in, in, tw in tweets and whatnot. Uh, he left the Republican Party, and uh, not only that. Before he left the Republican Party on the 4th of July, uh, whenever he called out Trump, uh, a lot of the conservatives, including people like Charlie Kirk, you know, Charlie Kirk, that uh, that freedom-loving, uh, limited government, pro-capitalism Charlie Kirk, who uh, has this nonprofit Turning Point USA, which claims to uh, promote American values of limited government and free markets. He, uh, he, he explicitly tweeted at Justin Amash saying, like, hey, we look forward to primarying you when he uh, dared speak out against uh, Charlie Kirk's lord and savior, Donald Trump. Um, so Justin Amash uh, got he left the Republican Party and all the other Republicans, most Republicans and conservatives just threw him under the bus and said, nice knowing you. Hope you get primaried. And now yesterday. You have uh, Rush Limbaugh claiming that uh, nobody really cares about the national debt anymore. Who cares about the deficit? Really? Uh, well, you know, we've been talking about it for decades and uh, we're still not dead yet. So we can just still uh, still keep kicking cans down the road. We can still keep uh, spending, spending into oblivion. No big deal, according to uh, Rush Limbaugh. No one really ever really cared about it. It's just a talking point. Who cares? I mean, what more proof do you need that the Tea Party uh, is just dead? I actually thought about making a, a, a real video about this, but uh, it's kind of a... Darn it. Kind of a depressing topic. Don't want to demoralize people. Yeah, the Tea Party's dead. Uh, we have to choose between nationalism and... Uh, and socialism, essentially, because the Democrats are now the, the party of socialism or they're they're embracing it. <laughs>